guys. Welcome back to another video and welcome to a new year. It's 2024. Yesterday I woke up and I was like, you know what? Tomorrow I seriously need to do some vlogging because I haven't vlogged or done any sort of video in like two months since I uploaded last. It's been really busy with my business, moving strong and fast and selling out going through my first expansion, which is very exciting. Today is a day we are gonna be going full on. I am gonna show you guys a realistic day in my life, running my business as a sole proprietor, just me doing absolutely everything. First things first, I have been meaning to write out my goals for 2024 on my whiteboard. But for those of you that actually do not even know who I am or what I do, my name is David Blake. I am a bartender turned entrepreneur. I sell dehydrated fruits meant for cocktail garnishing, decor, table scatters, teas, candles, soap making, really whatever you want to use or people want to use the dehydrated fruits for. I mean, there must be a lot of uses because they are selling out constantly. First things first, I need to make myself a coffee and shout out to my mother-in-law. You bought me the best coffee in the world. This coffee is better than Starbucks. Let's get this day on the go. Okay, so the goals for 2024, sell over $600,000 with a product this year. It should reach me about $225,000 in profit. Another business expansion. You guys are gonna see the first, but this year I want to do another small expansion and add another six more dehydrators. Post at least three videos a month. I've been majorly slacking on posting on social media, but I really wanna get back at it and be really present, working out four times a week, eating healthy, so really just sticking to that. And of course, the year of success. Most importantly, positive vibes, stay humble. Always remember to stay grateful and be appreciative. I think that is so important. We can never forget how lucky we are.
All right, you guys, finished packing up all the packages. I sat down and had lunch. It's actually about 1.30 right now. Might be a bit of a crazy cold walk. Out here in Vancouver, it's like colder than I have seen it in a few years beyond, but I am not used to that. So negative 20 is cold enough for me. Okay, you guys, fruits are dropped off at the UPS store. It's funny, I actually just got a text from a friend saying that there's gonna be a snowfall tonight. Another big one, so I'm really glad that I got those packages delivered to the post office today and not tomorrow because, uh, yeah, just doing that all through snow, not fun. And actually, little bit of a funny story, there is a UPS store that actually opened up like a block away, like on the same street as us. But I know these guys. They used to run another UPS store close by, but after dealing with them, I refuse to go to them anymore because their customer service is horrible and they lose packages, yada yada. So when I saw that there was another UPS store opening like on the same street, really close, I was so excited. And then when I went in there to bring some packages and I saw that it was them running the store, I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my God. I've had packages delivered there, like personal packages, and they'll like lose them or tell you they're not there, even though they're like checked in there and you can see on your phone that it got delivered to that address. But anyways, yeah, it's a beautiful day right now. So we're gonna take advantage before probably not going outside tomorrow at all. Step one. Wake up, really gon' rise with the sun Step two, get some good, some food in you Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Yo, Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket 
I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back Never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Finally done all that work, and that really is only half the work in my day, if you can believe that. In total, with emptying all the dehydrators, uh, cutting all the fruits, and refilling them all, that takes about three hours, like solidly. At the other location, I have nine more dehydrators. I'm not actually gonna show cutting 
and the whole process all over again because you just saw all of that. But right now we are on our way to the warehouse and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and my workspace that I'm working out of essentially when I'm not at home. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up, give the countertops a nice wipe and sanitize, and then we are gonna get out of here and head to the second location. And it's not too far, thank God. Walking distance is key in the city. So yeah, let's uh, clean up and head out. Okay, so right when you walk in, to the right is the kitchen. This is where I do all of the cutting, of course. I got my electric slicer here. All these bins are really great. They fit a ton of fruits. And I have three dehydrators in here. Got a nice big table. We have three dehydrators in here. One, two, three. All of our fruits, I go once a week and I make a really big shop and then that usually lasts me throughout the entire week. Otherwise in this room, we got some shelving, both sides. We got our bins here, which is where I'm gonna keep more of my fruits. Once I expand and I get more dehydrators in this space, then I'll most likely be using these bins for back stock. We got our bathroom here, which is great. And then the bedroom, we have another three dehydrators in here, which is perfect. So we have nine in total. And this is a great space. Once we get more of the dehydrators in here, we can just like essentially line them up against the wall. This room is gonna be full of them. In here we have a little walk-in closet. Once we expand again, we're going to use this for probably like inventory or packaging, anything. I mean, I can even just like hang my jackets in here or whatever. So this space is great for my first little business expansion. Also in here, I was shocked by this. This closet, right when you first walk in the door, just looks like, you know, it's going to be a little closet. And it's actually like a good size space. When I first moved to Vancouver, I was viewing rooms smaller than this to have a bedroom in. And yeah, so we got more boxes, got a mop here. We're set up, stoked on that. And all this furniture, this table, all of these shelves that you have seen, I actually just got on Craigslist. And I got really lucky because there was like a BC Hydro building that was closing down and essentially getting rid of like all of their furnishings, like all of their tables, shelves, chairs, like all of the furniture was getting completely sold off and sold for cheap. So I was able to actually furnish this entire apartment, all the tables, like everything, all the little stands that you see for all of the dehydrators for like 300 bucks, which is like bang on. I mean, I was expecting to spend about a thousand dollars for like tables, everything. So I got really lucky in the timing that I was needing to buy a lot of furniture. So worked out in the end and I am extremely excited about this space. It's not quite a warehouse yet, but stepping stones, baby. This business is completely financed by myself. I haven't taken any sort of loans or funding or had to sell any of my business to get this all up and running. David Blake Cocktails is going to grow and thrive and I'm excited to see where the future takes us. I'm gonna get the night started here. I have nine more machines I have to cut fruit for, empty, fill. So I'm gonna be here for about another four hours, but I'm stoked you guys got to come along and see everything that I do in a day, especially with this business expansion. Now, how much more work I am really doing in a day, running this business completely solo. I do have my fiance, he's gonna come on and work with me part-time to start and then hopefully full-time soon after, which is gonna be great. I trust him and I think he's gonna do a great job helping me run this business and really growing it to a point that we can make ourselves completely self-sufficient and not only that, but very much so thriving and making a lot of money 
because we're, you know, just your average guys, we want to travel, live our best lives and not have to listen to anybody but ourselves. And that's what's up, honestly. Starting this business, that has been, I would say the best thing ever, not having to listen to anybody, like no bosses, no managers, no one watching your work, like doing anything I want to do is the best. I can sit down when I want, you know, I can work as long as I want, as short as I want. Like in the end, I'm working a lot, like probably 60 to 70 hours a week I'm working, but you know, if one day I just decide to take three or four days off, I can do that because I am the boss. But anyways, you guys, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on back and watching another video. I definitely, I'm gonna be posting more this year. I took like a month and a half off just because I've been getting this business really up and running. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming on back and I love you so much. See you soon.